Hi guys, here's an update to VectorX. I think that uh, one of Vector's problems is that uh, it is a bit limited in input. If I want to implement a game using the SDK, I have really a few ways to interact with Vector. One is uh, its camera. Vector has some artificial vision capabilities, so it can locate its cube and some other patterns. I have used this skill in the Pong game, remember this video? It has a back button that triggers voice recognition. It can detect whether he is lifted or not and measure acceleration. This can be useful in building a game, I haven't explored this yet. But Vector's preferred interaction skill is voice. It has voice recognition through its cloud counterpart called Chipper. The problem with voice interaction is that normally it can be triggered by Vector. You are limited to say, hey Vector, do this, and he does. Hey Vector, do that, and he does. Vector can't ask you to choose this or that. The only exception is when playing blackjack, but that behavior is hard-coded and can't be replicated using the SDK. Fortunately, if you have an Oscar bot and you haven't enabled Alexa, there's a trick that an SDK app can use to trigger a voice command request. Basically, we can simulate that the back button has been pressed. This will force Vector to stream audio to cloud and look for a voice command. I have then allowed VectorX application to add a catch-all intent that will match any input and trigger a specific intent. An application can thus register this catch-all intent then trigger audio input and terminate. Vector will invoke Chipper, stream the audio, warp out the codes, the text and hand it to VectorX. VectorX in turn calls the catch-all application passing the text. The application can now decide what to do with the input. This also requires that the application state can be stored in custom settings because the application rises and dies at every voice command invocation. It may look complicated, so I demonstrated this feature by implementing a trivia game. You can check the code on GitHub and you'll see how simple it is. There are 20 questions about 80s and 90s Shifi movies pulled out from a simple web server I wrote. The questions are quite simple, well at least they are simple for me. I actually asked the chat GPT to write and translate them in the four different languages VectorX supports. So let's go to the demo. Hey Vector! Trivia game! Ok, let's go! Question 1. Who is Luke Skywalker's father? On Darth Vader? Do Yoda? 3 Obi-Wan Kenobi? For Emperor Palpatine. One. Correct. Question two. What is the name of the time traveling car in Back to the Future? On DeLorean. Two Ford Mustang. Three Chevrolet Impala. Four Plymouth Fury. One. Now, if you don't say anything, Warpod will return a no audio error to Vector and won't invoke VectorX. But no problem, whatever Hey Vector command you say next will trigger the catch all intent and restart the game. You can escape from the game at any time by saying quit. Hey Vector, whatever. Sylvester Stallone, do Arnold Schwarzenegger, 
3 Bruce Willis, 14 Claude Van Damme. Quit. Game over. Okay, I hope you have liked this. This feature means a lot for implementing games. You can add a card game, a chess game, or anything else that requires user to make a choice. The only disadvantage is that, as I said, this requires Oscar. It won't work on a production bot. So that's all for today. Thanks for watching and see you next. Bye bye.